Hello and welcome to another Drum Synthesis 101 with F Expansion Tremor. In this episode we're going to be synthesizing a clap sound. As always, if you're following along with Tremor you can download the preset that I'm working on from the link in the YouTube description below. Let's take a listen to the preset. And let's take a listen to the clap sound. It's got some reverb on it, so I'll uh, turn that off. So let's dive right in. I'm going to reset the clap sound here. and we've got the default tremor sound. For a sound source we're going to be using strictly noise. So I'm going to remove the oscillator from the mixer and increase the noise level. Next we'll get the amplitude envelope right. We want a decay of somewhere under a second. And we might just tune the noise slightly, make it a bit brighter. And for the filter I'm going to choose a bandpass mode, a two pole in this case. I'll bring the filter cut off down to around uh, 1 o'clock. That's somewhere around 1.3 kilohertz. And we'll just push the gain up slightly. Traditionally, claps are layered up. And if you get a bunch of people around a microphone and tell them to all clap at once, they won't hit exactly together. So you get several clap sounds all happening within a very short space, but they're not perfectly timed. Tremor has a neat feature called the ramp which can help us emulate this. Over here I'm going to set the number of ramp repeats to 3. That'll give us 3 claps. And I'm going to put the repeat rate somewhere around 9 o'clock. So um, you know, maybe 10 milliseconds between each repeat. And you'll hear the effect now. Now at the moment those three repeats are all identical. Tremor is literally just triggering the sound three times in a very short space of time. But what we can do is use the ramp modulation source parameter to change each repeat slightly. So we could increase the filter cutoff ever so slightly for each repeat. We could pan each repeat to give us a bit of stereo width. And we could even bring down the level of each subsequent repeat slightly. The final thing I might do is just use some envelope on a very fast decay in order to just give us a spike, a kind of transient spike and I'll use the pre-filter distortion to do that. So this short envelope is going to give us just a little bit of bite at the beginning of each clap. That's sounding great. You might put a bit of reverb on the end. Bring the mix down. And we have a very usable dancey clap sound. Join me soon for another Drum Synthesis 101.